Good evening, everyone. Yesterday we were talking about the tropical humidity, but the temperatures weren't as hot. Today we kind of flipped it around. It was hotter in terms of the air temperature, but the dew points were lower, so we weren't dealing with the tropical humidity. Tomorrow we're going to be dealing with both. So because of that, a heat advisory will be going into effect between 8 o'clock tomorrow morning and 8 in the afternoon uh, or 8 in the evening. Uh, so there is an elevated risk of heat exhaustion. So that means you just got to slow down, take it easy. If you have to walk the dog early morning into the evening, those are the times to do it. Stay out of the uh, peak heating hours between 10 a.m. and 3 in the afternoon if you can. Uh, seek out air conditioning. Places like shopping malls, movie theaters, that sort of thing, even uh, libraries, if you still go there. <laughs> uh, drink plenty of water for sure, and uh, make sure you're checking on the elderly and make sure they're doing okay with the heat. Uh, the kids and the pets, certainly uh, pets don't take them for rides in the car. It is just way too hot. All right, here's what we're going to be dealing with in terms of the humidity trend, uh, what I'm talking about, the dew point temperature. It was down into the 60s today, but it's going back into the 70s tomorrow. This is tropical air and it will be around on Tuesday and Wednesday and then finally a front comes in Wednesday night and Thursday starts to break the high tropical dew points and so we start coasting down and by Friday we'll be in a much more comfortable regime. For right now though things are quite uh, warm out there with a mainly clear sky and temperatures that are holding in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees at this hour. It's 90 in North Kingstown but it's a little bit better down along the south coast where Westley's at 84, Newport 83, New Bedford 85. But look across the, uh, the rest of the eastern third of the country and you can still see plenty of heat going on out here with temperatures in the 90s and the dew points. Yep here they are upper 60s and low 70s. So again, this is all shoving back in our direction for the next several days. So it's going to be the second half of the upcoming week that we finally get some relief. So there's a little trough, if you will, just been hanging around for days. It had been a stationary frontal boundary. It's just kind of the focal point for the showers to pop up here or there or thunderstorm activity. Fortunately, today things have been relatively quiet. Tomorrow afternoon, different story. We could see one or two showers and storms starting to pop up for the afternoon hours, but with sunset, they'll tend to diminish and go away. And on Tuesday, I think we're going to stay a little bit drier, but with the frontal system approaching for Wednesday, the significant cold front, we're going to reintroduce that shower and thunderstorm threat again for the afternoon and into Wednesday night and Thursday. Finally, after that, we get some relief from this tropical air mass and we get back to nice, enjoyable summertime conditions. So here's what we're looking at. Start off tomorrow morning, sunshine, afternoon clouds mixing in. We're heading into the low 90s. Keep an eye to the sky late afternoon, especially northern parts of the state where we could see showers and thunderstorms erupting, but they'll tend to weaken as they progress eastward as we go through the evening hours. And then on Tuesday, a good deal of sunshine, a very hot day. This will be the peak of the heat. Temperatures climbing into the low 90s and again heading into the evening we could see some showers and thunderstorms approaching. But this is what it's going to feel like for Monday and Tuesday. So this is why the heat advisory is up for those feel like temperatures. It'll feel like close to 100 degrees away from the coastline, but even there it'll feel quite hot. And it's the same situation again as we head on into Tuesday. We'll see those feel like temperatures climb well into the 90s. And then again on Wednesday it's still another hot humid day. But we'll start to break that humidity with showers and thunderstorms coming in Wednesday night and Thursday. And finally, Friday, Saturday, that's what we're waiting for. Yes, <laughs> we are. Do you think people going to the beach this week will get any relief, like swimming in the ocean? Will the ocean be cool? That is certainly going to help. Yeah, the water temperatures in the ocean are in low 70s, so okay. quite enjoyable. That's one of the places to go. Right. <laughs> but sunscreen make sure or the you pool if you have a pool yes all right yep. and sunscreen definitely good to keep in mind thanks yep. bill